so in my previous video I tried the Milani uh, Conceal and Perfect uh, Shine Proof Powder Bronzer just on my face, nothing under it as my foundation and I like the way it looked during the rest of the day. I like the way it looked. It was very natural, very light, um, just not a lot of coverage. So today I'm going to go in and try and use it on top of my foundation. So I used the Maybelline uh, Dream Urban Cover and I used the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Concealer again as well. So I'm going to just try to go over um, just my foundation because I think it'll be way too dark for the under eye concealer. So I'm just going to use this fluffy elf powder brush, actually a powder brush. Perfect. I'm not going to use a foundation brush because I think it'll pick up too much. So I'm just going to go over my cheeks and the water that I made today. So delicious, so refreshing. Um, just having the strawberries in it just adds just a little something, little something sweet with the um, the lemons and the smoothie that I made was really good too. I want to pick up some more uh, chocolate protein powder to mix in with that as well because I'm not a really big breakfast eater. I'm not a good breakfast eater either. So I'll usually just shove a handful of dry cereal in my mouth or just whatever, like something sweet and then not eat till later on. So if I can have that even with my dry cereal, just to have something a little bit more nutritious going in me. So yes, this is actually super nice on top of the foundation. I wonder if I should try going over this part too. Just so it's not so light. Yeah, super nice. It sits on it really nicely. Sorry if I keep tapping. Can't help it. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back to my eyes afterwards. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with Incarcerated by The Bomb. It is the Foiled Again palette and an angle brush. So I saw Raw Beauty Christy, um, a couple of her videos. I love watching her. She's so funny. She is so amazing at what she does. So she had done some eye looks and the eye looks were when you take your liner and you kind of draw out like the cat eye. So you're drawing in right in the corner of your eye so you're elongating your eye on either side so she had done it with eyeliner and it looked amazing with the eyeshadow look she did and then she had done it with a dark brown um eyeshadow and so i just tried it with something even lighter and even more natural so i went in with this neutral that's more of a cooler neutral and i just kind of dragged it right in the corner just almost like a contour almost like is it there is it not there is that the natural shape of your eye so it's even more of a natural day look it doesn't bleed it doesn't kind of come off like an eyeliner would and instead of more of an evening look like you can already see that it's dragging the eye out and then going in at the corner and dragging it out as well. So it's really subtle, but it really kind of elongates the eye and gives you that cat eye look, but also being very wearable and very daytime. And just even if you wear it out for a nighttime, whatever, if you're not 
you don't want to wear a lot of makeup or it's just not your thing. It's something that can just be so subtle and it just drags the eye out even more. So I'm going to tight line and put on my mascara now. All right, so I've tight lined and I'm going to go in with that same brush and just try to kind of pick up some of the liner at the corner and just wing it out a little bit as well. Just to add, it adds kind of like an extra eyelash. And I will link uh, Raw Beauty Christie's YouTube channel in the, in the description box. Blah, I can't talk today. All right, so this is the full eye look done with mascara. So simple and just adds like that sultry look to your eyes and it's just very natural instead of being it's not heavy makeup it's not dark makeup but it just adds a little something else to the eye so i have a couple errands to run today um let's see if i take you along with me don't know what i have to do but i have to do i need hand soap and my son wants cream soda so I'm going to scoot around, um, I'll see if I bring you, and yeah, so stay tuned. Alright, you're coming along, I have to go get dog food, I have to go get some color for my mom's hair, I have to go to the bank, and hand soap and cream soda, so first stop is the bank. I'm back from running my errands. I'm glad that I took you guys along with me. I had a few places to go and found some things that now this is turning into like a little mini haul, I guess. Um, the products that I went looking for last week um, at the salon center that I go to, the Joico products they had, so I picked up a couple of those. So I bought the Hydra Splash hydrating Hydrosplast hydrating jelly mask for fine medium dry hair so I can't wait to try that out it has like a fresh smell to it not too scented and then the Hydrosplash replenishing leave-in for fine uh, medium dry hair so adds lightweight hydration reduces fridge fridge frizz 
and boosts softness and shine. So this is something that I would probably add just to, oh, it smells, this smells good, directly to my ends just because they are so dry. Like the last part of my hair is probably when I was dark a few years ago and to get back to blonde took a lot of bleach and a lot of damage. I cut my hair um, short into like a short bob because I just, I had so much damage. So this has been like three years in the making to get my hair back this blonde and this long. This almost smells like manly, like a man's kind of shaving cream, but like fresh, not too, not too much. So it's not like florally, it's like a fresh, a fresh man in your hair. Yeah, it smells good. Also picked up this round brush. I really needed a new round brush by Olivia Garden, not Olive Garden. And it's cool. This part is, feels ceramic. Yeah, it is ceramic. And then uh, there's the bristles and then kind of like the plasticky ends. So it feels really smooth instead of bristly. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm always, um, doing blow dries on myself, on my mom and my mother-in-law, so I'm excited to test that out because I have not gotten a new round brush in probably 10 years, so really excited to try that. At Walmart I found some hand, hand soap, uh, Miss Meyers Clean Day Aromatherapeutic Household Products creating clean and happy homes since 2001. So this was an orange clove scent and it said limited edition made with olive oil and aloe vera. Um, oh yeah, that smells nice. I just wanted to pick up a nice one for my kitchen. The bathrooms, I just got whatever, but since I'm always washing my hands in the kitchen, I wanted something, um, something a little bit gentler on the hand. At least I found these boots at Walmart, shockingly. They're so cute. They had the snake skin as well and like a leopard print. So these were only $29. I am going to link uh, the woman's YouTube channel that I see her wear these all the time, Lee Benjamin. She has the cutest style. She is so sweet. She's building a home right now. So I'm enjoying watching that process, but she always has her white boots. I'm not hundred percent sure which brand they are. Maybe like Sam Eldman or Steve Madden or something like that. But anyway, she's always wearing white boots with her outfits and it looks so good. Like, She's the one that I had to find some white boots because of her. So I was so excited to find these at such a good deal. Probably can't wear them till four months from now when there's no snow, mud, and all of that spring stuff, but so cute and at $30, like, that, that's good. <laughs> like, it's, they might be trendy, but you didn't invest a lot. So. I'm just going to try them on for you guys just with one outfit because I'm probably going to use them a lot now with my um, outfit of the day, haul, clothing, yeah, fashion stuff. So I'm just going to do one outfit look for you guys with the white boots. Alright, so I just paired them with some distressed Lee, uh, Levi's high rise jeans and just simple pullover from Zara, but they just look so cute. Um, it's like an upgraded version of a white runner just looks a little bit more dressy and these will go with almost anything I think so yeah they're a little one of them feels a little bigger than the other like I got them in a nine I wish they had them in half sizes because that probably would have been perfect I'm kind of thinking that the eight would have been really small but I'm kind of swimming in these so I may go and exchange them for the eight and a half but so here is the outfit um, 
thank you guys so much for watching this uh, mishmash random video of a bunch of different things. And yeah, I will see you guys again soon.